everyone, my name is Gabe Zola. This is the 3rd of February, 2019. You know, if you've watched some of my videos, I have said numerous times that I'm a firm believer that the CIA created Facebook, Google, Twitter, and YouTube. And the reason that they did that is to be able to harvest all the data on hundreds of millions of people all over the world. Some of my friends thought that I was delusional, one of those conspiracy theorists. Have you ever heard of Operation Mockingbird? The title of this video that I'm going to post is CIA Operation Mockingbird. Control the media, you control the people. Actually, you control the entire world. Operation Mockingbird, the link will be attached. This article is about the CIA program. Hmm. Operation Mockingbird is a large-scale program of the United States Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA, that began in the early 1950s and attempted to manipulate news media for propaganda purposes. It didn't attempt to. It actually did. It funded student and culture organizations and magazines as front organizations. Let me repeat that. It funded student and culture organizations and magazines as front organizations. Voila! Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Google. According to writer Deborah Davis, Operation Mockingbird recruited leading American journalists into a propaganda network and oversaw the operations of front groups. CIA support of front groups was exposed after a 1967 Ramparts Magazine article reported that National Student Association received funding from the CIA. In the 1970, congressional investigators and reporters also revealed agency connections with journalists and civic groups. None of these reports are ever mentioned by name on Operation Mockingbird coordinating or supporting these activities. A Project Mockingbird is mentioned in the CA Family Jewels report compiled in the mid-1970s, according to the declassified version of the report released in 2007. Project Mockingbird involved the wiretapping of two American journalists for several months in the early 60s. Folks, if you start doing your research, you'll see that they spent literally billions of dollars setting up these agencies and funding these agencies. Well, where did they get the money? Huh? In comes Afghanistan, the drugs, the covert operations. You can't make this stuff up, folks. You want to read this entire article? You want to go do your own research? I have said that the CIA is a criminal, dysfunctional organization. And anyone that's associated with the CIA are themselves, I believe, criminals. And who do we know that ran the CIA? Hmm? Mike Pompeo ran the CIA. Gina Haspel is now running the CIA. She was instrumental in the torture program at Guantanamo. John Brennan ran the CIA. The list of criminals that ran the CIA is pretty extensive. Folks, all I do is look at the pieces of the puzzle. I put them together and I send them your way to determine what you believe to be the truth. The CIA is a criminal, dysfunctional organization that spies on people all over the world 
through Facebook, Google, Twitter, and YouTube. They funded all of those organizations to do exactly what they're doing, control the masses. You think not, well think whatever you like. I'll attach the link, you look at it. You'll come to the same conclusion as I have. Problem is, who are you going to go to? Are you going to go to the CIA? Are you going to go to Gina Haspel? Are hmm? you going to go to President Donald J. Trump? The sad reality, there's no one to go to. But I'd rather know the truth than not know the truth. Wouldn't you? You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass it along to your like-minded friends. You notice how they come up with these creative names? Operation Mockingbird, the McCallum Memo. Hmm? I wonder what operational name they gave the takedown of the Murray Building. Hmm? Or the Boston Marathon bombing. Or, well, Sandy Hook. It's endless, folks. All of these events, including the most, well, one of the most recent ones, the Parkland school shooting, that too had an operational name. Future generations might learn what those names were. Thanks for listening.